Visible on screen Notifier 2D is a very powerful tool inside of Godot that can help us do various things. But what are those things? Well, let's take a look at uh, if we can explore what it does exactly. Now, this node is a nice tool that essentially generally exists outside of our viewport or our camera. Our viewport is essentially what we see on our screen, or in other words, our camera 2D if we have one inside of our game. Now, what happens is once our camera 2D enters this screen or this node, it sends off a signal. Usually that signal is the screen entered signal. Now, obviously you can imagine the opposite happens if the camera leaves that node. Now, this node also has a child or a uh, extended child called the visible on-screen enabler 2D. Now, this node is a little bit different, but it does have the same functionalities. This node just has the exact same thing but has one extra thing that is very nice that we'll explore in just a second inside of Godot. Essentially, all it does is it does pause the node that it's attached to if the screen is not on top of this enabler. Now, you may be wondering, what is the point of this node? Well, one of the big advantages to it is that it reduces process overhead. If you guys would like another video explaining this, let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into Godot and take a look at how we can apply this. All right, so in Godot, let's take a look at our setup first so we understand what's going on. Now, in my scene here, I simply have a simple platformer, a player with a camera attached to it. The script is the default script, so all there is is animated sprites, but I don't actually think it works too well. Uh, it has some simple things, but it's just a simple platformer script. Now, we also have a floor, and then the important part is the monster, which is just a static body. Now, there is two important nodes to essentially look at here. First, we have the screen enabler and the notifier. Now we can take a look at the differences, but the essential difference that I'll kind of just tell you is that they do do very similar things, specifically in terms of uh, signals, which is very useful because in the screen entered, if we connected this into its own script, we can see here, <laughs> you can see here I was just printing a bunch of stuff. Let's delete that for now. And we can go back to the enabler and also print or connect the exited. Now, what we would do here is obviously we can print something, but the main advantage of this is that we can say self.hide if the enable, uh, sorry, show, and then hide on the other one. So the idea of this is that we will hide the node if we're not be able to see it, but if I can see it, I will show it. So now when I hit play, You'll see, I can see the node here, but let's go over here to the remote section and leave. And now you can see that the node is hidden. So we can see that the signals are working properly, but what's the other advantage to the enabler? Now, why would we use enabler over notifier? Now, notifier does exactly what we just did and what we just talked about, but enabler does one extra thing, which is it actually pauses its parent scene. So if we actually take a look at the inspector tab, in the remote section, we can see here in our game that the node monster is not in our viewport. But, and the cool part about this, if I scroll to the bottom, you can see that the process mode is disabled. And what does this mean? This means that it is paused. Imagine that we're taking the process mode of the tree and pausing it. That's the same thing. Now, if I move to the low, and uh, that's pretty much it. So we can now see that the enabler let me just restart the screen. I go over here, you can go to the remote section, go to the uh, monster, scroll down, and you can see that the process mode is on inherit. So that is essentially how it works. So if we are off the screen, it will pause that thing, and now we can no longer see it. And you can see that it's disabled as well, meaning that the signal actually won't even pop off. So, you know, use it how you will. Uh, so it is kind of important that you take that in mind, because now that we've paused this uh, entire node, all of its other nodes are now also paused. So if you want this to always work, obviously, you will need to go to the process mode of it and set it to always or paused, whatever. I would set it to always, to be honest, but that is also up to you. Now, hopefully that helps you guys understand the visible on screen enabler and notifier a bit. Um, but yeah, the basic idea is that the enabler does inherit from the notifier. So the notifier is a very good tool to use for uh, a lot of these things. An enabler is also an extension of this that will allow us to, 
you know, kind of add on other things. So if you have a node that you want to pause or stop it when you're not be able to see it, then this is perfect for you. So hopefully that helps and I'll see you guys next week.